Hey guys, it's Garrett with Command Consult, and I'm really excited for a new update that has just rolled out. And it is if you are looking to import contacts into your command database. It's a really cool setup that you can now use an import from any uh, CSV file you may have. You do not have to use the template anymore, uh, which can uh, speed things up a bit for you. So uh, I'm gonna show you a few things to properly set yourself up for success, uh, as well as uh, things uh, to make it a little bit easier for you. So let's walk through it. Uh, we're gonna go into contacts. We'll just click on that little contact tab there and we'll boot in. Oh, there we go. Now that we've, uh, we're going into contacts, from there we're gonna go ahead and you see the import button up there. That's how we've always uh, done it. Next, we're gonna hit import button and you're going to see something different now. So now you can see, uh, you know, optional download a pre-made command template file. You can still use that import template if you wanna make sure and ensure everything is going to go in okay. Uh, and then you can also just, uh, you know, can learn more about the tips and tricks down here as well. Uh, but for now, all you gotta do is you can just browse files right there hit that browse button and we'll just go and we'll just say we're uploading this file. I'm uploading a file of real estate agents that do luxury listings here in the Reno, Nevada area to market for a luxury broker open. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and hit continue. And once I do that, now we're going to have uh, this uh, these options here. So we can see uh, first name, it's going to give examples of what the title is here. So it's kind of looking at what's up top. And so we're going to pick and choose what it is. So we have first name. So of course we're gonna do first name, uh, which I love the option that they have both here. They have first, last, middle, all those names. So if you had it separate or if you had it all together, depending on if you're exporting it from another CRM or something like that, sometimes they put it on one uh, cell versus uh, split into first name, last name. So I love that, uh, but so we could just do first name last name, uh, office name, you know, you could do what, I think it's work, or yeah, um, company, that's it. <laughs> company name, there we go. So you're gonna be able to kind of type and search as well. Now here's a one that may come up, uh, and it's term of the address. You may have a little bit of an issue with the address um, right here, so you've got uh, right you have a few different things. So you have a primary address line, but you could also do, uh, if it's split up like this is, you have primary address line one, and then you have uh, address, easiest just to type it to find exactly it. Then you got city and zip code. And just like that, you're just going through and boom, there you go. That's all set up. Now you've got phone, primary phone, and email, of course. I just type it because it just can make things a little bit speedier. You have primary email, but if you had others, you could just choose it. Uh, if you have the option to choose like whether it's a work email or anything like that. So if it's like things like that, then you would have to have a tab saying what that is. But uh, for now, we're just going to do primary email. Uh, and we've got that all set there, so we don't have to designate it. Uh, and then tag. So I automatically tagged all this. This is probably the biggest tip I've learned, is you're gonna wanna have these contacts tagged when they come in. So be sure to have things tagged uh, in the thing. So if you exported this from a program and they don't have a tag on it, create a tag cell, and I just made them all the same because it's all the same. Even if it's just like saying, you know, CRM import or something like that to make it a little bit easier to get this imported in. Uh, you're gonna be able to find these contacts a lot quicker so you can do whatever you need with them. So uh, just a tip there. And again, you just type in tags. There we go, boom. And then you're gonna move to that continue part. And the cool thing is it's, you're gonna be able to overview and make sure it's everything's pulling in properly. So I can see that for this Christy, uh, I've got her phone, her email, just tag, her address, her company, and uh, it's all going in. So then you'll just finalize that import and it'll go in and they'll be in your command database. If any, uh, if there are any issues, so if I hit finalize import, 
they're being imported. If there are any issues, you're going to, which it, you can see it's importing right here. You can view the import log here, hit refresh. You'll also get an error message up here to download the failed contact. So if there are any failed, you'll be able to click on that, download it, and see what went wrong. It'll give you a little explanation normally on the far right. You might have to like scroll over on this to see uh, on the download file to see what, uh, it'll have an explanation of why there was an error. So um, you may already have them in your database or in your archive folder, something like that is normally what happens. So uh, anyway, super cool, exciting new update. If you wanna see other training videos and command support, you can always go to my website, commandconsult.com and you can watch the videos right in that video tab right there. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.